There's no negotiations. There's no negotiations simply because the British position is to say we don't want the backstop and we don't want the backstop. Counter proposal, nothing. So basically they say, uh, come back with something that pleases us. That's not a negotiation. So they are not negotiating. So when he is saying that there are intense negotiations going on and that they're making progress, is that a lie? I think it's a lie. It's not because, well, you send a couple of people to Brussels to, to sip coffee together that you have negotiations. Negotiations is putting options on the table, negotiating the details and trying to forge agreement. He's not interested in an agreement. What he's interested in is giving the illusion that he negotiates in good faith with bad people. And that ultimately, if there's disorder, if there's disruption because of no deal Brexit, well, you know, I tried but these bloody Europeans can't, uh, can't, uh, can't really negotiate. When you look at the politics in London, are you filled with despair or hope at the moment? Well, rather hope, actually, because there's clarification within the Tory party. Now we know that this, is, this has become the, an English nationalist party, a Brexit party, not really better than, uh, than a Farage, uh, uh, Farage party. Is that so, the way you see it? So, yeah, exactly. So there's a clar clarification. Uh, English Nationalist Party, they claim to, to, to be, well, to, to, to defend the United Kingdom in all its parts, etc. This is rubbish. They are not. They are English Nationalists and they want hard Brexit. They, they want a no-deal Brexit to, to happen.